And there's so much science supporting how injurious it is to constantly be breathing through your mouth. There's, there's no debate about that. But what people don't realize is about 25 to 50 percent of the population habitually breathes through their mouths. Mm. And they don't realize the neurological problems that this causes, the respiratory problems this causes, problems with snoring, sleep apnea, even metabolic disorders. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So I had been talking to the chief of rhinology research at Stanford. We had done many interviews over a series of months. He's a big nose guy. So he said, this is the most amazing organ. No one's talking about it. At the NIH, there's no school for studying the nose and its effects. And he thought that that was criminal. So he had warned me how bad mouth breathing was, but no one knew how quickly that damage came on. So uh, we, we knew that after years, it can change the structure of your face. It's so common in kids that it has a term called adenoid face. You see these kids with very long faces because they've been mouth breathing so long that their faces have actually the, the musculature and the skeletature has have changed. It changes your skeleton. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it makes it creates a longer face. So and that that also makes these people much more apt to snoring and sleep apnea. 